What is going on guys? Last year at TPS, we ranked all 32 NFL GMs from worst to first. Let's just say there are plenty of changes in our 2020 rankings. Bruce Allen, who claimed the number 32 spot last year, was fired by Washington. There have since been several new GMs hired, and our top 10 saw a drastic shakeup. Here's how all 32 NFL GMs stack up against each other ahead of the 2020 season. Number 32, David Caldwell. Jacksonville Jaguars. Unbelievable. Caldwell has somehow kept his job for seven seasons, despite a woeful 36 and 76 record since taking over in 2013. The Jaguars have recorded one winning season under Caldwell. They've wasted so many high-end picks on the likes of Luke Jokel, Blake Bortles, and Dante Fowler Jr. And the Nick Foles and Julius Thomas signings are big-time flops. Number 31, Mike Brown, Cincinnati Bengals. The Bengals owner and GM managed to not botch the first overall pick in the 2020 draft by taking Joe Burrow. That prevented him from finishing at the very bottom of the list. To Brown's credit, he hit home runs with the Andy Dalton, Geno Atkins, AJ Green, and Giovanni Bernard draft picks. The Bengals reached the playoffs five straight years from 2011 to 2015, but his refusal to spend big dollars in free agency has prevented this team from reaching the next level. Number 30, Joe Douglas, New York Jets. Douglas was hired by the Jets just three months before the 2019 season. After previous GM Mike McCagnan questionably hired Adam Gase while throwing ridiculous amounts of money at Le'Veon Bell and CJ Mosley. Douglas couldn't do much except sit back and watch 2019 unfold. The Jets finished with a respectable 7-9 record. We'll have to wait and see what the three-time Super Bowl champion scout executive can do with a new team that needs some stability in the front office. Number 29, Ron Rivera, Washington Redskins. The new Redskins head coach will be classified as their general manager for now. There's not really much to go off of Rivera here, but his track record as a head coach is too good to ignore. Hence why we put him above the other three GMs. Number 28, Bob Quinn, Detroit Lions. Quinn was on staff for four New England Patriots Super Bowl championship teams. His ties to the Pat dynasty helped him land the dream gig here, but has been downright awful in the Motor City thus far. Firing Jim Caldwell after back-to-back -back winning seasons was a brutal call. Replacing him with former Patriots defensive coordinator Matt Patricia was even worse. The Lions also love to sign former Patriots. Trey Flowers, Danny Amendola, and Jamie Collins have been asked to bring that whole Patriots culture to Detroit, but that's not really possible with an unqualified GM and head coach. Number 27, Bill O'Brien, Houston Texans. We should have him lower on this list, but I mean the Texans won the AFC South Division title in his first year as GM. The Jadavion Clowney trade wasn't as horrible as we thought. The Laramie Tunsil Kenny Stills trade raised many eyebrows at the time. For those who delivered nicely in 2019, the DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson trade, however, forces us to place O'Brien way down here on our list. Number 26, Dave Gettleman, New York Giants. Bad contracts, questionable coaching hires, baffling Odell Beckham Jr. and Leonard Williams trades. Yeah, Gettleman's tenure with the Giants has been far from pretty. Can't fully blame him for taking Saquon Barkley though. And the Daniel Jones pick actually showed some promise in 2019. Make no mistake, Gettleman's greatest Giants GM is in the D to F range, but other GMs have still been worse. Number 25, Andrew Berry, Cleveland Browns. Berry is only entering his first season as Browns GM, but we already love what we've seen from him. And unlike other GMs on this list, Barry simply hasn't committed enough mind-boggling mistakes to earn as low a rating as some of the other guys here. He got stud offensive lineman Jack Conklin and Pro Bowl tight end Austin Hooper on good contracts in free agency. Jedrick Wills Jr. was a smart pick in the first round of the 2020 draft. We said this last year, and we were wrong, but Cleveland fans ought to be optimistic once again heading into the upcoming season. Hopefully. <laughs> Number 24, Jason Light, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Not sure how Light has survived six seasons seasons with one winning campaign and a 34 and 62 record. But hey, he landed Tom Brady in free agency and managed to swing a trade for Rob Gronkowski. So we're giving him credit where it's due. The Bruce Arians hire already looks like a stroke of genius. Light's work over the last two off seasons helped improve his ranking here. His future as Bucks GM comes down to the play of a 43 year old quarterback. So his seat is hot right now. Number 23, Thomas Dimitrov, Atlanta Falcons. Dimitrov has been very good at drafting. Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Keanu Neal, Desmond Trufant, and Grady Jarrett all panned out nicely. But the Falcons have unraveled mightily ever since their Super Bowl 51 collapse. Dimitrov and head coach Dan Quinn somehow kept their jobs after a second straight losing season in 2019. I guess all that matters is the owner's opinion. Luckily for Dimitrov, Arthur Blank seems to like him. Number 22, Ryan Pace, Chicago Bears. Not sure how he survived three straight losing seasons from 2015 to 17. If 
Mitch Trubisky or Nick Foles aren't the answers in 2020. Pace's legacy will be the guy who took Trubisky over Patrick Mahomes and Deshaun Watson. But hey, he has crafted a nice defense in Chicago. The Eddie Jackson, Tariq Cohen, and David Montgomery picks were genius. The Khalil Mack trade guided Chicago to 12 wins in an NFC North division crown in 2018. So there has been some good moves on Pace's end but he has to make the postseason here in 2020. Otherwise, he's gone, and Matt Nagy will likely follow him out the door. Number 21, Marty Herney, Carolina Panthers. Can't blame Herney for Cam Newton's injury woes that derailed the Panthers' 2018 and 2019 season. We love everything that Herney did in 2020 to improve his team. He signed Teddy Bridgewater and Robbie Anderson to complete an offense built around workhorse running back, Christian McCaffrey. He also used all of his 2020 draft picks on defense, which was wise following Luke Keekley's retirement. Herney and the Panthers are trending up, which is why he escapes the bottom third of this list. Number 20, Chris Greer, Miami Dolphins. The Finns made the postseason in Greer's first year on the job, but they took major steps back in 2017 and 18. They wisely decided to rebuild in 2019, landing plenty of draft capital and future franchise quarterback Tua Tungavailoa as a result. Now, most lucrative free agent signings never pan out. It's hard not to like the acquisition of Kyle Van Noy, Shaq Lawson, and Byron Jones. The latter should form a superb cornerback duo with Xavier Howard. The Dolphins aren't ready to compete for a playoff spot yet, but Greer and head coach Brian Flores have this team moving in the right direction. Number 19, Mike Mayock, Las Vegas Raiders. Mayock has been a magician with John Gruden thus far. The Tyrell Williams and Trent Brown signings panned out nicely in 2019. That first round pick on Josh Jacobs netted beautiful results too. Gotta love Mayock's work in 2020 free agency. Getting Corey Littleton on a three-year $36 million deal was a bargain. Love the Marcus Mariota signing to push Derek Carr as well. The Raiders should be more competitive in 2020. Gruden and Mayock are really building something special here, so we'll see what happens. Number 18, John Elway, Denver Broncos. Yes, he's a Super Bowl winning GM and all, but Elway would have been let go years ago if he didn't win the Peyton Manning sweepstakes. He's on his fourth head coach since 2014, and he's gone through quite the quarterback carousel since Manning's retirement. Three straight losing seasons speaks for itself. If Drew Locke isn't the answer at quarterback, how many more chances will Elway get? On the bright side, his 2020 offseason was downright excellent. Jarrell Casey and AJ Boye will bolster Vic Fangio's defense. And draft picks Jerry Judy and KJ Hamler will provide a huge boost to Denver's offensive unit. If these moves pan out and Drew Locke ends up being the answer at quarterback, it could send Elway soaring up this list. Number 17, Steve Kime, Arizona Cardinals. The DeAndre Hopkins trade alone helps Kime move up in our rankings. He made two gutsy calls last year, hiring Cliff Kingsbury and drafting Kyler Murray at number one overall. Both appear to be paying off. The future is bright in Arizona. Kime has already put together something special here. Now it's time for for some results. Number 16, Tom Telesco, Los Angeles Chargers. How do you measure this guy? Four winning seasons in seven years, but only a 53 and 59 record, and only two playoff victories to show for it too. Telesco cracks the top half, however, because of his more recent performances. Hiring Anthony Lynn as the new head coach put the Chargers on the right track. The Joey Bosa, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Derwin James, and Desmond King picks were home runs as well. All in all, things look promising for the Chargers again, but Telesco's club has to start delivering. It's one thing to build a star-studded team, but they still have to perform. Number 15, Les Snead, Los Angeles Rams. Three straight winning seasons place Snead inside the top half, but he's really a tough one to rank here. The Rams recorded losing seasons in his first five years, and though Snead built a contender with the likes of Aaron Donald, Jared Goff, Todd Gurley, and Cooper Cup, he also put this team in a serious salary cap bind for the long run. Significant pieces of the 2018 NFC Championship team are long gone, but hey, Snead also put this long-struggling team within reach of a Super Bowl, so it's got to count for something, doesn't it? Number 14, Brian Gutekunst, Green Bay Packers. Adding Preston Smith, Zadarius Smith, Adrian Amos. In 2019, free agency propelled the Packers to 13 wins at an NFC Championship appearance. A job well done by Gutekunst. And hey, the Matt LaFleur hiring sure panned out despite immense criticism. Thing is, it's too early to put Gutekunst much higher. And we don't like the Jordan Love or AJ Dillon draft picks. Is he trying to sour the organization's relationship with Aaron Rodgers? Probably not the best idea. Number 13, Rick Spielman, Minnesota Vikings. If this was based on strictly drafting, Spielman would be in the top five, but he hasn't done a whole lot in free agency as his trade history has been mediocre at best. We can praise Spielman for those two NFC North Division titles, their 2017 NFC title game appearance, and four winning seasons since 2015. But Mini only has two playoff wins to show for all that. Spielman's lack of postseason success keeps him out of the top 10. Number 12, Eric DaCosta, Baltimore Ravens. DaCosta took over as GM for the legendary Ozzie Newsom in 2019. Hard not to love DaCosta's move so far, and he's only going to keep shooting up our rankings with each passing year.
year. Signing Mark Ingram and drafting Marquise Brown were big time moves that helped Lamar Jackson enjoy an MVP season in 2019. Adding pro bowlers Earl Thomas and Marcus Peters also paid dividends for DaCosta. Gotta love his work ahead of 2020. Getting Calais Campbell for pennies before drafting Patrick Queen in round one. Yeah, that defense just got a whole lot nastier. And second rounder J.K. Dobbins will add much more juice to the virtually unstoppable rushing game. It's still early, but DaCosta is already proving to be one of the league's savviest GMs. Number 11, Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys. Finally firing Jason Garrett while choosing a quality replacement in Mike McCarthy led to a big time jump for Jones here. His 2020 draft was also downright incredible, getting C.D. Lamb at number 17 overall and Trayvon Diggs in the second round. Well done, sir. And just look at all these studs Jerry's drafted in recent years. Dak Prescott, Tyron Smith, Leighton Van Der Esch, Ezekiel Elliott, Zach Martin, and Demarcus Lawrence. Oh, and the Amari Cooper trade has paid off nicely as well. How have they like not even won a couple playoff games? That's, that's crazy. It really is. And even if the Cowboys aren't performing like the contenders they should be, you can't blame Jerry entirely. He's put together a loaded roster with some savvy drafting and trades. So hopefully it pays off with McCarthy. Number 10, Chris Ballard, Indianapolis Colts. Even without Andrew Luck, the Colts are built to win for the long haul thanks to Ballard. He and Frank Reich formed the GM head coaching duo, and they put Indianapolis on the path to contention again. Snagging Darius Leonard in round two of the 2018 draft has been a franchise changer. The DeForest Buckner trade will take this defense to a whole new level. Now Ballard just has to hope that Phillip Rivers and Jacob Eason can answer their needs at quarterback. If so, the Colts will be a perennial championship contender. Number nine, Brandon Bean, Buffalo Bills. There you go, Bills making the top 10. Let's go. Good for them. When Bean took over as Bills GM, they had gone 18 years without making the playoffs. Well, Buffalo qualified twice in Bean's first three years on the job. It's actually not too bad. Sean McDermott was the perfect head coach hiring, and Bean quickly supplied his coach with some solid franchise players, including Josh Allen, Tredavious White, Ed Oliver, Stefan Diggs, and Devin Singletary. These bills are going to be real good for a real long time. Much of that is the result of Bean's wizardry in the front office. You're a wizard, Brendan. Number eight, John Robinson, Tennessee Titans. Who'd have thought that trading for unwanted Miami Dolphins QB Ryan Tannehill would propel Tennessee to the AFC Championship game? Robinson and hit the jackpot with the Tannehill trade and the 2018 hiring of Mike Vrabel as the new head coach. Derrick Henry, AJ Brown, and Kevin Byard are just some of Robinson's many grade A draft picks too. The Titans got hot at the right time last year, but with Robinson in charge, this team should be competitive for a long, long time. Number seven, Howie Roseman, Philadelphia Eagles. If your team has won a Super Bowl in the last three years, you'll be in the top 10 for a long time. Roseman faced criticism for bringing in Doug Peterson and Carson Wentz, but he got the last lap, didn't he? Roseman has mad Mastered the art of drafting. His free agent pickups, including Alshon Jeffrey and Malcolm Jenkins, propelled Philly to a Super Bowl 52 championship. Roseman has constructed the ideal championship roster. If Wentz and the rest of the team can just stay healthy, Roseman and the Eagles could very well hoist another Super Bowl or two. Number six, Mickey Loomis, New Orleans Saints. Three straight NFC South division winning seasons. Courtesy of jackpot draft picks that include Michael Thomas, Alvin Kamara, Marcus Williams, Marshawn Lattimore, and Ryan Ramchek. Not to mention Loomis also has a Super Bowl 44 championship with the Saints on his resume. And he'd likely have a few more if it weren't for some unlucky bounces and terrible postseason officiating. Number five, Kevin Colbert, Pittsburgh Steelers. No losing seasons for the Steelers since 2003. He got eight wins out of this team in 2019 without Ben Roethlisberger. It's amazing. He handled the Antonio Brown situation very well given the circumstances at least. Wise move for letting Le'Veon Bell price himself out of town too. He built up a pretty scary defense in Pittsburgh and he scored some value with the TJ Watt and Devin Bush picks. The Minka Fitzpatrick trade was quite the game changer as well. His Steelers are poised to be long-term contenders, even in the post Roethlisberger era. That's what happens when you have a great GM at the helm. Number four, John Snyder, Seattle Seahawks. Eight straight winning seasons for Snyder and Pete Carroll. These guys knew when to move on from aging veterans and who to replace them with. Schneider also had a foresight to take Russell Wilson in the third round of the 2012 draft. All he's done is continue to keep this team in contention, despite all the roster turnover around him. Once Schneider and Carroll rebuild that defense, the Seahawks will be ready to add another Super Bowl to their trophy case. Number three, Brett Veach, Kansas City Chiefs. Former GM John Dorsey was the one who got Andy Reid, Patrick Mahomes, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, and Chris Jones. He put most of the Chiefs core together, but it was Veach who put the final touches on it. Veach who took over as GM before the 2017 season. Added the likes of Tyron Matthew, Frank Clark, McCole Hardman, 
Kendall Fuller, Sammy Watkins, and Damian Williams. Oh, and his Chiefs just won Super Bowl 54. He has to be in the top three. Honestly, he could even be one. We'll see how that pans out in the next few years. Number two, John Lynch, San Francisco 49ers. What a showing so far by the nine-time Pro Bowl safety. Since taking the GM seat in 2017, Lynch has crafted something special in San Fran. He traded for Jimmy Garoppolo to give this team its next franchise QB. Lynch also drafted future superstars, George Kittle and Nick Bosa. Bosa! Wow! I'm so happy he's on my team! He picked up Richard Sherman in free agency and made big time trades for Emmanuel Sanders, Dee Ford, and Trent Williams. The 49ers reached Super Bowl 54 in their first year with a fully healthy Garoppolo. This team is built to win over the long run, especially with Lynch leading the way in the front office. Number one, Bill Belichick, New England Patriots. He's holding down the number one spot until A, he retires, or B, his Patriots record five straight losing seasons. It's really nothing to see here. You all knew he was gonna be number one. Greatest coach ever, greatest GM ever. Congrats, Bill Belichick. You the man. What changes would you make to our rankings? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS on social media. We post great content all the time. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. We're on everything. Go find us. TPS as well. We post memes all the time. They're really funny. Go check it out. If you like this video, give it a like. It takes one click down below and subscribe to TPS. We post videos every single day. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo. And if you're still watching right now, go to Aaron Rodgers' most recent post on his Instagram and comment my name. See you guys next time. My name.